awesome Ken Sirians. I missed you guys. Ken Sirians, I hope you're doing fabulous wherever you are. Um, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do. First part of the video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Ken Sirians. What do you be dealing with facing? How are you currently doing on your soulmate journey? Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time. And we're also going to ask how they are relating to you uh, currently emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Cancerians. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Cancer. For Cancer's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Cancer? What will Cancer be dealing with, facing in their life? And how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? How is Cancer currently doing on the soulmate journey? And what's coming towards Cancer in their life? Let's see, Cancerians. Ooh, this is you loving someone deeply. Uh... This is you loving your soulmate, uh, but not telling them that you love them or still love them. Yeah, uh, wanting some kind of new beginning, wanting to take a leap of faith. Oof. You're heartbroken, so you're not with this person. You are loving them deeply, but not telling them, and you're very heartbroken. This is Three of Swords. In a traditional deck, Three of Swords is depicted with a heart being stabbed by Three Swords. You are heartbroken over this person because you still love them. But you're not telling this person that you still love them, Cancerians. No, you're not. Yeah, you love them deeply. <sighs> to be honest with you, and you know I don't sugarcoat, because sugarcoating is lying, and that's how people create karma for themselves. So... To be very honest with you, this person loves you too, but you guys are not together. This actually not only shows that you are not together, the breakup was very heartbreaking. Let me see your subconscious position. Yeah, you walked away. You, you did walk away from this person because they broke your heart. But the point is you still love them, you see? quietly from a distance and because you're holding two cups instead of one you're trying to figure out if they love you or not yes they do they do love you <coughs> but they're hiding it from you just like you're not telling them they're not telling you you are heartbroken that you had to walk away from this person let them go release them for your highest good so something was toxic obviously and you needed to release them in the time being let's see what's going on here in a few minutes, we're going to ask about them directly. You know, please show us um, what's coming towards cancer in their life. And how is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, this person loves you as much as you love them. You see, this person loves you deeply. Look at this, the matching energy here. King and Queen of Cups. They spying on you. This person is checking up on you, spying on you. They feel a great need to communicate with you, Cancerians, but they're not reaching out. Uh, this is them uh, holding back this communication. Very curious what you're doing, what's going on with you. They have a great need to communicate with you. You see, uh, let me see, one, two birds around them. Uh, so that means they want to speak to you, but... Uh, they restraining themselves from letting you know uh, what they're feeling, thinking. Yeah, they're spying on you heavily. This combination here, this spycraft card and them sneaking around over here, you see. They're holding a sword pointing down in both cards, you see. That shows me that they have a great need to clear the air with you, communicate with you, but they're holding back that communication. Yeah, they want a new beginning of some sort. This person still loves you. <clears throat> but they're showing up as a little stubborn here. Stubborn. Set in their ways. You have high standards, Cancerians. Absolutely. Uh, keep your standards high. Don't lower your standards for anyone. You see, you have Empress energy surrounding you. Um, so that's good. Uh, whether you're male or female, 
uh, Empress Energy showing that you have high standards. Oh my goodness, you're so heartbroken over this breakup. This person, this is your heartbroken. You were hoping this would end up a long-term relationship with this individual. Yeah, you see, you feel this is unfinished business between you two. The scales are not balanced. But you feel like this person didn't put work into this. You see, like they didn't reciprocate. Like they didn't put work into this. Didn't let you know where you were standing in their life. Mm-hmm. I just noticed something. The way they... Sh oh, there's a Four of Swords. You're trying to uh, retreat in solitude, not communicate with them. You're trying to heal. You're giving them silent treatment. Um, even though you feel a great need to clear the air with them, you're not reaching out. But I just realized this combination here shows me that you feel they betrayed your trust in some way. Like they betrayed you. They either took you greatly for granted or left you behind or abandoned you emotionally or left you for somebody else. You feel betrayed by this person. Yeah. There could be any sign whatsoever. All signs are popping up here. We have swords, um, air signs, water signs, uh, earth signs, fire signs with the wand over here. So all signs are popping up. There could be any astrological sign. You walked away from them. You, you couldn't take it anymore. This is you letting them go. You, that's why you're so heartbroken that you had no choice but to let them go. Let's see, universe, please show us what's coming towards Cancerians and how is Cancer currently doing on this soulmate journey? Yeah, disagreements, fights showing up here. You love this person a lot. There are other people interested in you, Cancerians, but right now you don't really uh, want to concentrate on anyone. You're concentrating on yourself. Yeah, self-love. You're concentrating on yourself right now, Cancerians. Good for you. Yeah, you have a lot of people interested in you, Cancerians. You do. Huh. Yeah, you do. See, you know that you want... Uh, you don't want some wishy-washy uh, relationship, some uh, relationship that's just anything. You want something of value, you see, something that is valuable, something that's long-standing, uh, long-term relationship, someone with integrity. Yeah, you want somebody of great value. You don't want to just settle for anyone. You would rather be alone than be with just anybody out there. Look how this person is spying on you big time. Again, spycraft card from another tarot deck. Yeah, see, they feel a great need to communicate with you, to express themselves to you. Here you have four birds surrounding them. One, two, three, four, showing that they feel a great need to talk to you, communicate with you. But they don't know if they need to reach out to you or if they need to wait for you, you see. Uh, because the sword is... Uh, sideways they don't know what to do they're spying on you yeah they feel a great need to communicate let's see universe please step and show very clear and important messages for the sign of cancer for cancer's highest good please universe the soulmate of cancer the soulmate of cancer What's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer? And how is the soulmate of cancer currently relating to cancer emotionally? And what's on soulmate's mind towards cancerians? Let's see what's going on with this individual. They love you deeply, but not telling you. You see, in love with you, but not telling you. And for this to show up in position one shows me that they are very much aware they're in love with you. It's not like they're in denial. They know they love you deeply, but hiding it from you. Yeah, you see, they feel they owe you apologies, explanations, peace offerings. So this person is aware that somehow they caused this breakup or they contributed to it. You see, they feel some kind of uh, guilt. Yeah, because this is them feeling like they need to make it up to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see, look at all these cups. Oh, look at all these cups. All of them are cups, feelings, emotions, love. Ace of cups, page of cups, knight of cups, ten of cups. This person loves you a lot. 
let me see the subconscious position oh yeah you see this person is aware that they turned you off yeah you walked away from them because of their behavior so there was something toxic in this connection that they caused you see and they lost you yeah you had no choice but to release this person something was not right mm -hmm. the tower moment happened and they keep dwelling on that tower moment regretting it because this is in the subconscious position universe please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how is the soulmate of cancer currently relating to cancer especially emotionally wow <laughs> you had eight of cups with the bigger tarot deck just now I think I shuffled it, didn't I? Yeah, I shuffled it. You had it with the bigger tarot deck where you walked away and look at this. This is them trying to walk away. They did walk away from you. They abandoned you emotionally or physically or both and they regret it deeply. They realized it wasn't worth it. Whatever they left you for or whoever they left you for was not worth it, you see? Uh, this is them feeling very... Uh, unfulfilled emotionally after leaving you they're not happy with their decision their choice no they're not happy very unfulfilled emotionally empty look at all these cups this is all emotions feelings this is their sadness oh they have a lot of guilt this person messed up oh yes they did this person messed up big time they feel uh, enormous amount of remorse guilt sadness heartbreak uh, yeah, their conscience is bothering them. So they made a huge, huge bubble and uh, they regret it. Yeah, they love you deeply. Ace of Cups again, twice from two different tarot decks. <sighs> yeah, they look at all these cups. My goodness. All of these are cups except this one where they feel enormous amount of guilt, regret, heartbreak, shame. This is all cups. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups again, Eight of Cups. You see, this person feels enormous amount of guilt, regret, sadness, heartbreak. But they know they caused it, you see. They know, they know uh, that you gave up on them finally because you're tired of the nonsense that was going on. They know, you see. They know they didn't put work into this, didn't reciprocate, and now they want to put work into this, you see. They're scared you're going to reject them, though. Yeah, they're scared if they show you that they are interested in repairing this connection, that they still care for you, love you, you're going to reject them. They're scared of that. They're scared of that rejection. Look at this, two of cups. My goodness, two of cups on top of... Ace of Cups. This person is trying to figure out if you still love them or not. And if you do love them, how much do you care about them? You see, this is them praying, hoping, wishing not to lose you. Look at this. The star is holding two of cups, representing your soul and their soul. You guys were together many lifetimes. They're not able to release you, even though they tried for whatever reasons. It's not working. No. Mm -mm. This person loves you deeply hmm. let me see what's going on with that tower here you know please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how is the soulmate of cancer currently relating to cancer see they realize how important you are to them yeah they want to see you so this person wants to see you face to face but i think they want to see you uh, well, they want to offer you something, give you something of significance. They feel a lot of guilt, you see. Uh, but I think the reason, the biggest reason why they want to see is because they want to uh, see your facial expression, your body language, your mannerism, your eye contact to, to judge if you care for them still or not, if you love them or not. They think they'll be able to tell. Uh, by your body language, your facial expression, if you love them or not. Yeah, they want to give you something. You see, this person wants to repair things between you two. It looks like they're going to be communicating with you unexpectedly. But what kind of worries me here is that what I don't like is that this person is planning to use another excuse 
uh, as to why they need to communicate with you. So they're not being straightforward, uh, calling you to tell you, hey, King Syrian, uh, I want to see you. I miss you. I'm thinking of you. How are you doing? Can we meet? No, they're going to use another excuse that they need to see you. But really, they don't need uh, another excuse to see you. They really want to see you for personal reasons. Uh, so this person is sneaky. You're dealing with someone who is underhanded, who is not straightforward. Yeah, they want to see you. They do want to see you. Yes, they do. They're single. They're not interested in anybody else. And they view you as very attractive, independent, not needing them for anything. Look at this. They're spying on you big time. Be careful who you talk to. Uh, because uh, for those of you that share the same acquaintances or friends with this person, uh, people are gossiping. You see, people like to change stories. So if you want to say something to your soulmate, don't use a third party. Tell them directly whatever it is you want them to know. And don't use um, social media to express what you want them to know. Yeah, social media is trouble, drama. Yeah, drama creation. Um, Cancerians, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true long-term intentions and plans for you. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters in your life, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So can Syrians click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.